In this lesson, we're going to learn to distinguish between molecules and compounds. Although those words are often used interchangeably, they do have different meanings. Let's look at the two definitions we see here. Molecules contain at least two atoms in a definite arrangement held together by chemical forces, otherwise known as chemical bonds. A compound is two or more elements held together by chemical bonds. When we look at the first example up here in the upper left corner, we know that these atoms are the same element because they're represented by the same color. If we were looking at actual formula, we would see that they have the same chemical symbol. So this substance is a molecule, but it is not a compound because it only has one type of element present. When we look at the other examples, what we see is that these are molecules, but they are also compounds. They meet the definition of both. So looking at the one in the center, this has at least two atoms in a definite arrangement held together by chemical forces. So it does meet the definition of being a molecule. We also see that it meets the definition of being a compound because it has two or more elements. So this one is a molecule and a compound. And the same is true for all of the examples we see here except for the first one. So this one up in the upper left corner is a molecule only. So this is a molecule but not a compound. Which one of these is a molecule but not a compound? When I look at the options, I see that water has two or more atoms, so therefore it qualifies as a molecule, but it also has two or more elements, so it's also a compound. Cl2 has two or more atoms that are bound together, so we have a molecule but it has only one element, so it's not a compound. Carbon monoxide, notice that the O is capital, so those are two different elements, so it's both a molecule and a compound, and helium is neither, because this is an example of an atomic element.